Hey, Josh. Hey, John. What's up? So, I see we've down to the regulators for the seat. Oh, and yeah. the tracks, right? Yep. So you got the motor, the, the um, actuator, and this here's the dead rail on the other side. Trying to get everything loosened up. All right, so you're going to show everybody what to do when they want to make these things work properly, right? We're going to try. All right. We're do our best. All right. Well, I'll let you have at it. All right. Sounds good, John. All right. Have a good day. on today is the uh, seat mechanism for 59 El Dorado and um, there's two halves to it this one side is just a roller for moving fore and aft and then this one here has the actual um, uh, screw mechanism that powers the seat fore and aft the cable is connected here that leads to this motor which is mounted on the passenger side so there's a flexible cable that goes between the two. So what I'm trying to do today, our goal is to um, get the mechanisms loosened up um, and prepare the parts to be degreased and um, the rust cleaned off. Uh, because we have mechanisms with rollers, there's metal rollers inside of here, we can't uh, sandblast or do anything like that. So we'll probably use a chemical a rust remover on, on all these parts as to not get grit into the mechanism. So just keep that in mind that there are uh, steel rollers that are in here that are um, not easily accessible. I've already uh, been to work on this a little bit with some a penetrating lubricant and have it moving pretty easily. Up inside is a, uh, there's two sets of uh, rollers in here and this just needs some lubrication and it's it's working very well now and then this here is our driven unit and so there's a um, the cable comes in here there's a gear uh, worm gear that uh, actuates the um, the lead screw here so the first thing I'm going to do is this is we're lucky this mechanism is free um, but if it wasn't free uh, if this part was uh, jammed up, you could take the, the nut loose here, which we will eventually do, to try to, to work it apart. But if this is uh, rusted up solid, you're going to have a real problem. And it could easily be rusted solid. If you've got like a convertible top car that you, that you pulled out of a, a junkyard or out from behind a barn, rotten leaves and stuff could have built up in the floorboards, and this could be a real mess. So we're actually lucky we're starting on, on one that's in this good of condition. So I want to get this spring off, and so what I'm going to do is run the mechanism all the way towards you guys to let the spring collapse. Like I say, this is just going real easy. Let's see. I got enough slack on that spring. I can get it loose. Always check springs, no matter what they are, like throttle return springs, a seat spring like this. To see, you'll sometimes get them where they got a notch worn in them, where they ride in their brackets. And that makes them really weak, real easy for them to snap right there. <clears throat> so always check, whenever you're dealing with a spring, check to make sure it doesn't have a notch worn in it. So now what we want to do is... We're going to try to get this mechanism out because we'd like to get some lubricant in here. I'd like to replace these um, rubber bumpers. So I'm going to start by, I hit this with some penetrating oil earlier, so I cheated. Rubber parts in here are in remarkably good condition. And until I'm sure that I have replacements available, I'm going to just leave them alone. Sometimes it's just best left alone. Um, a part like this, these rubber pieces, 
if it's a part that we can't supply you and you're kind of giving up hope on finding it, visit the plumbing department of your local hardware store. There's often um, bits and pieces that can be substituted for parts like this. We'll remove this mechanism here, which is a drive mechanism. Two Allen head screws. With kind of special heads, little internal tooth lock washer. just so things don't get lost. Well, pretty much what we have here is the same as the other side. Get some lubricant sprayed up in there. I can feel where it's been sitting and the grease is hardened around where the wheels were sitting. So this is in this pretty good shape. Like I say, these parts are going to sit in the parts washer and get degreased real good. Get all that old, hard, cr cr cruddy grease out of there and, and um, then be uh, the rust removed and painted. Now these grommets here, these look like something we can easily replace. So I say with all these rubber parts, you gotta be very careful. You gotta kind of know on the fly as you're getting in here what you think you can easily replace. Uh, maybe check online, see what's in the various uh, catalogs, what's available, and or what you have on your own that you can use. But these can be substituted with some regular grommets. And when we go to put it back together, I'll give you the dimensions of everything that I use. So this here is pretty good. It can be set aside, get ready to go and get degreased. Got this mechanism to work with. So what we have here is we have a set of uh, screw threads on the inside that are being turned by this worm gear. So there's a, this, uh, like a nut that's uh, circular on the outside with threads that the cable comes through and the cable comes in, turns this worm gear that turns this nut on the inside to move the bolt in and out. So with that plug out of there, we can get in there and clean this out. We get in there and lubricate it. Do these give us some, yeah, these give us some access. Uh, gear teeth on the, on the outside wheel. So this is, looks like it's in real nice condition. It wasn't binding up. It's, I can look in there and I can see that the gears are not stripped. So we're real lucky this is in good shape. We've got it all apart now. Be going back to the other warehouse to uh, get these uh, rails into the parts washer. Uh, get all this stuff cleaned up. Get it ready for paint. And we'll bring you guys back in, in another video. We'll get, I'll have these parts painted. I'll have all the new rubber parts out. I'll show you how to put everything back together and lubricate it. At Caddy Daddy Presents, it's all about giving back. Please enjoy the video of the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga.
clicking the link in the video description.